1939 Chevy Street Rod, 350, 700 R4 automatic, Jaguar front suspension, rear suspension. Been on the road about a year and a half. How long have you been building this, Don? Eight years. Wow. Everywhere that gravel can get is a truck bed liner. And all the rest of it's not your shine. Wow, that, that Jaguar uh, is pretty. Yeah, then brakes are inside there and you don't yeah. have to pull the wheels off to change the brake pads. You just pull two pins and pull them out. That is neat. That's uh, some shocks too, huh? Yep. It fa comes factor with four of these, yeah. but I needed a little more weight with my wife and two daughters in the back. I'm sorry, my mom and my two daughters in the back. So I added the, the uh, newer coil over so I could adjust them up and give a little more pressure to the back. Oh, okay. Keep it from bottoming out with them in it. And you have Jaguar uh, up front as well? Yep. Both from an 86 XJ6. Okay. Front calipers are four piston like Corvettes and rear two piston. It's a very clean car. Thank you, sir. Come from Montana. I bought it from a guy in Keysville, but he bought it from Montana and brought it down here. Yeah. He started doing it. He had the front fenders done and the hood done in black. Okay. You can tell I went white. Yeah. From every angle, it's just beautiful. Appreciate it. Yeah. Get this underneath, we'll set it down and get the rest of the outside and the inside. Yeah. Uh, it's got the uh, booster and master cylinder down here, huh? Yep. That's originally where they were mounted under the frame. There's a hole. I had to make a new hole to get to the master cylinder, but this rubber plug right here is where the original one was to fill the original master cylinder on it. Okay. And this is originally where the battery was, but I didn't have enough height for the new batteries. All right. So I had to put it in the trunk. Wow. And this exhaust looks wonderful too. Yeah, uh, Dover Discount Muffler did a good job with it, I think. Yeah, I think they did a great job with it. <laughs> Fuel injection is based off of a 1990 Chevy truck. How are you? That is Snicker. O'Neill's in Plant City did all the upholstery inside and in the trunk. The seats, both front seat and rear seat, are original 1939 as well as the dash. He did a good job. You need more light back there? Is that good? Ah, uh, that should work. Yeah. Here's your trunk. Okay. Wow. Built for sound, I see. Just a <laughs> little bit. Yeah. This is original tool tray that you can remove for storage for tools okay. and things under there. Of course, I've just got cleaning clothes. Oh, those are tools too. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> 
but I used this off the original pattern. The, the plywood was starting to separate on the original one, so I mm -hmm. built a new one with the original pattern. Okay. And every detail, Don, it's just beautiful, huh? I did my best. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the lights work well. So the, uh, the, I guess the operating system is off of a, a 90s Chevrolet, huh? Uh, the motor's an older block. Mm -hmm. But just the fuel injection is off of it. The, the guy made this adapter kit to go from a 4150 intake to a, the 1990 throttle body. So you have the reliability and parts availability. Mm -hmm. That's great. See, I, I yeah, think of that was, stuff too. If it too. was Holly or something, you'd have to order the part if it went out. This year, yeah. I can go to Advanced or wherever and, and, and pick the part pick up, up the part, and put yeah. it on. And of course, originally it never had parking lights or blinkers. Right. So I put them in the headlights. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nicely integrated too. Thank you, sir. center there yeah bolts into that center beam yeah that's neat something that's not original but it's so well done is your uh, high mount brake light oh yeah that's cool I tried to like I say I tried doing good yeah very cool Don I love your car Appreciate it. Very nice. These horns are originally over here too. Yeah. Not this one. I added this one all, but these the two on this side. Wow, they were that original, big? Original 1939. <laughs> they were on this car when I bought Wow. Those things are huge. What do you hear how loud they are? <laughs> okay. I don't remember which one I've got it on right now. Let's see. Okay, the Ruger. Wow. That's what get your attention. <laughs> well, they were originally 6 volt, so that's yeah. off of the 12 volt. Okay. And it's an automatic transmission or yep. manual, okay. Automatic, 700 R. Okay, so it uh, it definitely rides on the highway well now, huh? Not like the old uh, automatics they had. Wow. This didn't, they didn't even have an automatic in this. It was yeah. a 40, it, I had a 42 Cadillac that had an original automatic, so it was late four, or early 40s before they came out with the automatics. Right. These are the original VIN plates and body plate for the 39 that were on this car when I bought it. Right. I've got the original body by Fisher tag for down here, but I, I don't want to drill in my new paint job to do it. Yeah, yeah, this is very pretty. I wouldn't want to either. I like it as it is. Those, uh, those details are good to keep though, but uh, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. This part here over the speedometer is not original. I built it because the speedometer and everything reflects on the glass so bad at night you can't hardly see. Yeah.